documentary where you just watch, watch me die. As yes, I... and you are the beast. Oh, hey, welcome back to Hard Struggle Homestead. I think our next adventure is put in a little well, a little sandpoint well for the ease of watering these guys. And I think we're gonna go pick that spot out today. And then tomorrow we will uh, put it in, hopefully if it doesn't snow too much. Or maybe I won't be able to get Lisa to walk away over, over to go look at that. But we'll bring you along and see what happens. Also, it's cold. Our current system which made us think, hey, we can probably use a sand point because there's a big hole of water that we made. So let's get the ducks. Get water. The problem with this system is it gets all mucked up. I don't like the ducks here. Because I think they'd probably be happier if you gave them fucking full fun. So. Wanna come? Shovel water? Well, how yeah. deep are you going? Like, what What are you, exactly are you doing right now? Uh, make it a little nicer so it makes some money whenever I came over here. So you're digging it out or you're just cleaning out the... Cleaning out the mud stuff, like that junk. Okay. I wanted to make it a little bit bigger. Why don't you get the shovel? Put the shovels at home. Again, this is me working without a shovel. To we just came from home. Why didn't we bring a shovel if we knew we were going to do this? You know, we're a uh, hard shovel home. Modern tools from you know 10,000 years ago, Homestead. <laughs> okay. I have a plastic bucket. It's like a shovel. Bucket, big metal stick. What else do you need? Look at how much water is running in there. I don't know if you can see it. There's a ton of water going in there. Keep bumping it out. Hey, keep this going. It's a good sign for last week's water, but not helpful when I'm trying to get rid of it. Can we just turn off the, uh, the spring for a second? How's that? A video shot of my butt. Pretty high quality. Bye, Bucket. Thanks, Lisa, for helping. <laughs> Rolled right past you. <laughs> Couldn't go pick it up, though. <laughs> Full cinematographer mode. <laughs> is this like a wildlife documentary where you just watch, watch me die? As yes, I... and you are the beast. Or Neanderthal? Uh, <laughs> something like that. Caveman? Because I keep forgetting to bring the trouble yeah. I have to capture this in action. I missed the other day when I forgot I had these. Well, and I just had the big metal stick. <laughs> what exactly are those big salad tong looking things? What? Those big salad tongs. Not salad tongs. Most old ears. Why don't you put your gloves on? Gloves right there. <laughs> Just FYI. 
Do you want me to get them for you? <laughs> They won't get wet. They won't get wet? Gloves, one. cold hands. Gloves, <laughs> cold hands. <laughs> Work stopping because he's got cold hands. <laughs> oh, I got muddy. Hardened steel. See, look how hardened it was. It is now flat. It was sharp. <laughs> I don't know if I trust rubber break hardened. Hardening this. Figure if I just throw enough mud over there, it'll allow it to raise the water level in here higher. That's how this works. Solid forks. Nice. Mosquitoes are going to be so happy when I made this big, bigger hole. Where are you going? Deeper, just the more water. Not like I need to fill more than two five gallon buckets at a time. All right, so I think what we're gonna do. Put that right there. Truck here. So if we put these two rocks, we should stop kicking stuff up in the water. I like the ducks care. They like dirty water more than wet water, I'm pretty sure. And then I can scoop the waters. Oh, those are your stepping stones? Which one do you think they'll like more? The one with the clean water? <laughs> this seems far away. I would probably put it over that closer to the stream, but that's just... Well, it's going down 25 feet, so it probably isn't a big deal. Well, it's going down as far as I can put it down. It might not be different. Like, this is soft right now. Yeah, if, if the ground is definitely soft over there, then I'd say go there. Well, do we want to put it up a hill from the soft stuff so we don't have to walk through soft, mucky ground? Okay. Which is also the advantage of putting it over there. But we could also just put it up here a little bit where it's not in the soft ground. Or, yeah, do we upload this video and ask people who don't watch our video to uh, yeah. comment? Yeah. Let's do that, because I don't really know how to answer this question. <laughs> yeah, so, where do we, where should we put our water? I mean, we have a couple options. We have there, there, there. We also have down there. We have up there. Pretty much anywhere in the forest. Pick your favorite spot on Google Maps. <laughs> kind of like over there. And I'm kind of reading the one that's going to found it in, so I might just put it I think we should put it out to the universe. Okay. The YouTube-iverse. Well, the YouTube-iverse 
has 24 hours to make a decision because as soon as it shows up, it's getting pounded into the ground unless we get snowed in and then it's gonna be a little more 24 hours. Okay, let's go bring the ducks to the water. Mm -hmm.